All right, guys, so we are going to learn to do an overnight. So what we need to do is gather up all of our supplies, okay? So when we're doing an overnight, we have to make sure that we're always really prepared and have everything we need so that we don't run into any trouble out there, okay? Does everybody understand that? Okay, so we need a couple people to get equipment, food, and our med pack and matches. So I've got the med pack. Okay, great. Um, you guys want to get food? Yeah. Can you take care of that? And then you two get our equipment, okay? Got it. Yep. All right, so gather up your supplies and we'll meet back at the dining hall to pack our pack. Got it. Nurse, nurse, I need a med pack. Here you go, Big Rick. Got the med pack. What do you think we'll need for our overnight? I don't know. Uh, macaroni and cheese? Yeah, that sounds good. Is that enough? Uh, uh, s'mores? S'mores, yes. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. S'mores. Can, it's not camp without s'mores. Don't forget extra chocolate. We need extra chocolate. There oh. we go. Um, butter? Butter? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna need that for breakfast. Um, um whoa, we're having. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, That's uh, nice. granola? Granola? Walking tacos? Walking tacos, yes. All right, Seth, we're gonna need a whole bunch of stuff from the whole equipment bunch. room here. All right, what do we need first? Um, let's maybe grab, we need stuff to cook in, because food's cook always in. important. All so right. let's give me a pan. Pan? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna need a pack. We're gonna need a pack. pack. We need to put stuff, we need a pack for the stuff to go on. One pack. All right, got the one pack. Yeah, yeah. Second pack. Oh, we got two packs. Bam. Look at that. We also got this pot to cook in. Oh, pot for the mac and cheese, I guess. Here's the spatula. Spatula. What else do we need? Um, we might need um, some shelter. Some shelter? One tarp. A uh, tarp. Tarp for us? Did you, did you check for holes? Nah, we don't think we need to. Okay, I believe you. What else do we need? Um, did we grab a spatula? Yeah, we got one spatula. Do we need another? Uh, maybe, maybe a non-spatula, non. like tongs. Tongs. Got your tongs. Um, thinking one last thing. Uh, maybe, um, maybe some rope. Some rope. That's a good idea. Whoa! All right, that was fast. Got my sleeping bag ready for my overnight. Yeah, I think this is enough for one night. I got my sleeping bag. Got my sleeping bag, so I'm ready to go. Doctor, let's gear you up. Gloves. Don't touch me, I'm distant. Okay. Tarp. Tarp. Other tarp. T other tarp. Pan. Pan. Spatula. Spatula. Pot. Pot. Tongs. Tongs. Hand. Hand? Twine. Twine. Doctor, we did it. The surgery is complete. All right, we're gonna head out on our overnight now. Does everybody have everything you need? Yeah. Yep. yeah. You're sure we're prepared? We're not coming back. You need to have everything. Yep. Yep. Have everything. All right, let's head out. Let's head down to Trail Through Summit. Let's go. All right, 
we're here at Split EOP, so if you guys want to work on getting your tents set up with your tarps, and then we can start collecting wood because we're going to make a fire in a little bit. We'll learn how to do that, okay? Got it. All right, All right. let's get to work. So, there's a couple important basics of fire building. The first is that fires start small. And when they are baby fires, we feed them bigger and bigger pieces of wood so that they grow bigger. The second is that fire travels upwards. So when we light a match, the fire usually goes upwards. So we light it at the bottom and allow it to grow bigger over time with the heat traveling upwards. So it is now our baby fire and we will feed it. Until we have enough flame for marshmallows or cooking. All right, awesome, Armando, that looks good. Does that make sense to everybody? Makes sense. Okay, you guys think you can do it? I think Absolutely. so. Absolutely. All right, cool, sounds good. I always love the smell of tarps. All right, I got this stick. I got this tarp. I think that's all we need. Just like this, and I'll throw it over. Uh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Absolutely. Perfect. And I think and now, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. We're finished. Yeah, look at it, that masterpiece right there. Yeah, okay. You think it's gonna keep you dry if it rains? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you think you're you're all prepared for the night? 100%, yep. Okay, um, that sounds good. Well, hopefully it doesn't rain on you. All right. Yeah. Ah, back to go relaxing. check on the girls. Ah. Oh, they're gonna get wet for sure. That's not gonna work. They better not come and crawling over to us when they get rained on. I think that's Great awesome. job, ladies. Keep up the good work. And I think that's it. Yeah. Looks really good. Got it. Air high five. Hey guys, what you doing? Napping. Okay, you still uh, feel pretty good about your tent you have set? Definitely. Feel like it's gonna keep you dry, huh? Mm hmm Okay, well, you never know when, you know, some rain or water might come, and you might be tested. You gotta be prepared all the time. Okay, yeah, I feel fine. All right. Oh! <laughs> oh, how'd that, did that tent work for you guys in the rain? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, we can keep working on it. Can do. Good luck. Hey, DJ, you still got your tent all ready? Yeah, pretty good. We just finished. All right, awesome. I'm ready for bed. Okay. You ready for a rainstorm if it comes, or you know, if this guy just opens up with water at some point? Well, we prepared for anything, so hopefully that doesn't happen. But if it does, we'll be ready. All right, that sounds good. Let's test it. How is it in there? Pretty dry. All right, nice job, way to be prepared. Campers are gonna like that. <laughs> 